YouTube. What is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a bit of a review. This could potentially be all you'll need to go out there and catch some fish. Check this thing out. This is a rod and reel combo inside this little box with some tackle uh, sent to me by this company called Placino. And so we're going to be doing a little bit of a test and review of this today. And I'm going to give you guys my honest opinions. I'm not going to be biased in any one way because it was sent to me for free. Uh, but instead, we're going to actually get some field use, so you won't even have to take my word for it. We're going to see how this thing performs, because of course anyone's got their doubts about a rod that's this big and extends out to five, six, seven feet. But then also, uh, we're going to test out the reel, we're going to see what line it comes with, the tackle they provide. And so let's just dive right into it. I'm going to go ahead and pop this thing open. And uh, this is kind of my unboxing. I haven't looked at any of this stuff yet. I kind of know what's in here, um, the majority of it at least. But uh, I really haven't opened this up. So, this is the rod, I'm assuming. Placino 210. Whoops. Sweet. I guess you just unwrap this. Oh, it locks. So this protector on the end, it actually locks on here. You unstrap this deal, and then you can take this off. And that's what protects all these eyelets from getting hit when you've got it in the box or in your backpack. It's just this sucker right here. It feels pretty sturdy. Let's extend this a little bit. Woo! -hoo! Dang, this thing don't mess around. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. So if the reel's down here, get all these eyelets to line up a little bit. This might be the trickiest part is just getting your eyelets to line up when you take this thing out. But if that's the worst of your worries, you're probably in good shape. Uh, dang, check that out. So the, the tip of the rod is orange and the rest of it has got this like stainless finish. Cool. Let's go ahead and see what this reel looks like. A uh, little bit of a miniature tackle box, I guess. Oh, here's the box, actually. They include a bunch of tackle here. Yeah, you've got some weights in here, some jig heads, some plastics, and then also a couple crankbait looking deals. Uh, we got the reel. This looks like something you'd pay 50 bucks for by itself. Cool. The handle's a little, uh, whack. <laughs> but, but aside from the, the handle, <laughs> I think we're in good shape here. Oh yeah. It makes a little noise, you know? It's not the smoothest thing. Weird thing is, is the handle. This is kind of interesting. Who cares? It works, it works, so um, I'm assuming this is anti-reverse? Yeah. Now it will only go this way and it, and it won't spin. All right, let's get back to it. They include some line. Go through the manual and see if it says what rating this line is because all it says here is 0.28 millimeters and it says that it's 120 M, so I'm assuming 120 meters. Placino fishing rod combo. General safety tips. Never go fishing alone. Always fish with a group of at least three people and always stay in sight of each other. If one person is washed into the sea, another person can stay and assist while the third person gets help. Let me show you what I use to put the line on at home. Bada bing. Now we take our box and we're gonna feed the line through all the guides. Once you've got it through all the guides, you tie a little knot onto the spool and I just do a simple over and under type of thing. I don't do anything crazy. I found this to be one of the best ways. Uh... Let's get out there and try and catch something. All right, we're here. I might leave this in the car. We're starting off, by the way, with a Texas rig. I just tied it on using tackle from the box that was included. I've got high hopes, but I've never really used a pink worm out here, <laughs> or pretty much in general at all. Hoo -hoo -hoo, like a dream. Right off the bat, I notice it's, it's weighted towards the front. There's not a really good 50-50 balance. The handle could be slightly longer or more weight right here. It would make it a little bit more comfortable 
but it's not a big complaint. It's just something I noticed. I didn't check my drag. Ooh, that could be dangerous. I think it's pretty tight. <laughs> if the right fish grabs hold, I think they'd have just taken it. Holds 280 yards of six pound line. Uh, so maybe that 120M was about 280 of six pound line. This could be six pound line. Um, and it's got the five, five to one gear ratio. Yeah. All right, I think we're gonna try something else. I just don't have too much faith in this color getting us anything here because I'm always throwing the greens. So let's see what else is in this box and tie something else on. We're doing what I originally didn't want to do. I want to get you guys something on this rod and reel. So I went ahead and tied on something out of my own tackle box. We're just going with a basic wacky rig setup. And we're gonna see, because I've caught fish here on this before, if we can't just get a few, and then when we get a hot streak going, if at all, we'll go ahead and try some more of the baits that they include. That way we got a good idea of how it performs. Oh. Oof, this could be our guy. Drag's not set, drag's not set. Y'all, we got one on the rod. We got the first one. Oh, let's bring her home. I gotta tighten up this drag. It's a Mondo. Y'all. Raking them up. Get that. Oh, 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 don't snap the line. We lost the worm. Yes. She works. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Ah, there you go. So I wonder if he was chasing it or if he had it for a while and I just didn't realize it. You know, what I found is this rod has fairly low sensitivity. You got to really be just sitting to notice you've got a bite with something like this worm. Main portion of the rod is pretty stiff. It's, you know, it feels good, but, but then that tip is just, it's not what I prefer. And yet it doesn't matter because I don't have anything that can fit into a backpack like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've even got that cheaper, uh, $5 Walmart rod, but when I fold it down, it's not, it doesn't fold down to this much. It's like two pieces of about this length right here. So you can't really even get it into a backpack without it sticking out. So, I mean, there's not much on the market like this. I think this is just actually a pretty sweet setup if you want to go and catch some fish just about anywhere in the world, right? <laughs> I mean, you can catch big old trout on this six pound line, which I'm assuming once again, that's what this is. I don't know, but you know, it's pretty light. We just got back from San Diego and we were fishing with lighter setups like this and we reeled in a big old halibut. We reeled in some uh, some sea bass or whatever the case was, a spot fin croaker. So if you could have something like this Placino setup right here, take it with you on your travels and it's ready to go in a moment's notice. You can already have your lure tied on and have that protector keeping the eyelets in good shape. This is pretty sweet. You know, if it holds up through a couple more sessions, which at this point I'm sure it will, uh, I'm gonna have to get me a few more. I'll tell you that much. And since I caught that first fish on the wacky rig, I'll also go ahead and, and link the hooks and the worms for you guys in case you're interested in just picking up some wacky rigs. It's definitely a staple. So, so that's weightless. It's not a weedless hook. It's just basic setup. Not much to it. Oh, got one. Yes. Number two. Let's get them up and over. Telling you, she on fire. But what's even better <laughs> is we still got the worm. <laughs> yeah, man, this thing's pretty sweet. I'll tell you that much. You want to start from the, the tip and go this way. I found out because I tried to pull this one in first and then it made doing the rest of them a little bit trickier. So go from the, uh, the rod tip down to the base there and you'll have better luck putting this thing away. But you know, I was also kind of surprised that while I was using it, none of them came loose. Uh, otherwise, of course, I'd show it. You know, I feel like I tightened them down pretty good, but um, yeah, check that out. On the go, man. And then I've never really used a reel that had this button here where you can fold the handle down um, and now it's locked in place. So uh, nifty little travel feature too. All in all, man, I, I, I like this thing a lot. I'm going to use it a ton, of course. This is not the last video you're going to see it. And in fact, I'm probably going to get ask for a few more from these guys try the whole lineup because you know why not seems like a good company to me but uh yeah that's that <laughs>